this video I will walk through how to define the contact properties for a filled hole tension or compression composite laminate specimen that will result in the highest likelihood of good convergence behavior and accurate results. As you can see on the screen I've created a surface to surface contact interaction. I've chosen the master surface to be the bolt in the filled hole tension coupon. You can see here that I've selected this master surface to be both the shank of the bolt and the top and bottom faces of the bolt heads. For the slave surface I've chosen the composite laminate both the top and bottom faces of the composite laminate and then also the hole, the interior surface of the hole of the composite laminate, all as one surface. So for the sliding formulation I've chose small sliding. Small sliding will typically result in a more robust covert convergence behavior over finite sliding, although finite sliding is typically accepted as more accurate. For the discretization method, I have chosen surface to surface. Surface to surface is recommended in Abacus as the more accurate contact formulation. Under the Slave Adjustment tab, I've selected Adjust only to remove overclosure. Overclosure between two parts is one of the main uh, problems in determining convergence early on in a contact simulation. By checking Adjust only to remove overclosure, we get a more robust convergence behavior. For my contact interaction property, I have defined an interaction property one that I can bring up. For the interaction property, I've defined two options, a tangential behavior and a normal behavior for the interaction of the composite laminate and the bolt. For tangential behavior, I've selected a friction formulation of penalty and assigned a friction coefficient of 0.2 for the frictional tangential behavior between the bolt and the composite laminate. On the elastic slip tab, I've left the fraction of characteristic surface dimension left at the default of 0.005, but this value can be adjusted to allow a little bit of slip before the apiculus friction formulation takes effect and this will sometimes help in the convergence behavior of the analysis. For the normal behavior I've selected hard contact and I've made sure to check on allow separation after contact. These, these properties and the interaction formulation specified typically give us the best convergence behavior while also giving us an accurate contact representation between the, the contacting surfaces of the bolt and the composite laminate. For more information about how to conduct a failure analysis of a filled hole tension or compression composite laminate, please contact us at info at firehole.com.